welcome to my grammar lesson. My name is Maya and today I'd like to teach you how to distinguish between adjectives ending in ed and ing. So I have a question for you. Are you boring or are you bored? Boring and bored are completely different words in English. Okay, so let's have a look at the bored. My sister is bored and my sister is boring. Bored and boring, two different words. If you want to translate them into Spanish, it's the same word. It's aburrida oh, or <laughs> aburrido, okay? But in English, bored and boring, two words and two different meanings, okay? So let me explain to you the difference. My sister is bored, okay? So it means that she feels bored at this moment. And if I say, my sister is boring. It's a completely different story because it means that she is a boring person. Okay, so a big difference in meaning. I'm bored. I feel bored. I'm boring. I will make you feel bored. Okay, so an adjective that ends in ing is used to describe the characteristic of a person, a thing or a situation, okay? So a party could be boring, a book could be boring, a person could be boring, a teacher could be boring, okay? So people can be boring if they make other people feel bored, okay? So for example, he is such a boring person because he talks about the weather for hours, okay? I could be boring too because I could talk about English grammar for hours. So after listening to me, you could feel bored about, you know, English grammar. Okay, so an adjective that ends in ed is used to describe how a person feels, okay, or emotion. And it's a temporary thing, so it's not going to last forever. Okay, so the adjective board tells us how someone feels about something. So look at him. He looks really bored. He is about to fall asleep. And it's because of a chemistry lesson. Okay, so I was very bored in the chemistry lesson and I almost fell asleep. I hope that you don't feel bored and that you are not about to fall asleep because of watching my video. Okay, so there are a lot of pers of adjectives which end in ed and ing, so it's a very useful rule. Okay, so tired and tiring. Okay, so again, a person could be tiring. Okay, so it's like a characteristic of this person. I could be tiring. <laughs> I hope not, but you know, you never know. So like tiring. And while you are talking to me, you could feel tired. You could feel exhausted. Okay, so, but also like a situation could be tiring. For example, a 12 hour flight, no doubt, tiring. Okay, so like he feels tired now. He feels exhausted because his 12 hour flight was tiring, was exhausting. Okay, now disgusted and disgusting. So public toilets are disgusting. Okay, so we are describing the characteristic of public toilets. In general, they are disgusting. In general, they tend to be disgusting. Okay, so I'm disgusted. I feel disgusted by the smell in some of them. Okay, so it's how I feel about them. Okay, next one. Interested and interesting. Okay, so like a person could be boring, a person could be interesting, a party could be boring, a party could be interesting. Okay, so did you meet anyone interesting at the party? Okay, and are you interested in buying a car? So interested, do you feel interested? Okay, are you interested? 
Satisfied? Satisfying. Okay, so no doubt. My job is satisfying. I feel satisfied, okay? So I feel satisfied with my job, with my students. I love my students. I love teaching. Okay, confused and confusing. So these adjectives are confusing. So students get confused easily because they are so confusing. Okay, the adjectives are so confusing. Okay, so the teacher's explanation was confusing. Most of the students did not understand it. I hope that my explanation is clear, that it's not confusing and that you understand it and that you don't feel confused at the silent. Okay, so, but here, teacher's explanation was confusing. That's why most of the students felt confused about it. Okay, and one more, depressed and depressing. Okay, so depressed, he feels depressed because his job is depressing. Okay, it's not my case because I feel satisfied with my job. My job is not depressing. My job is satisfying. Okay, so I hope that after this lesson, you will be able to distinguish between adjectives which end in ed and ing. So ing, remember, boring, tiring, interesting. So it's a characteristic of a person, a thing, or a situation and adjectives of each and in ed are used to describe how you feel about something so you could feel confused you could feel bored about something or you could feel tired and remember there are a lot of adjectives which come from verbs okay and and in ed and ing but once you understand how to distinguish between them once you understand the rule it's not going to be difficult for you it's not going to be confusing Using, I'm sure. Okay, so if you liked my lesson, if you found it interesting, not boring, and clear, not confusing, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Okay, so thank you so much and see you very soon. Bye!